by 1957, Glen Bell had already started several other restaurants in San Bernardino, California. He was a serial entrepreneur and would stick with a restaurant for only a couple years before selling it. That is, however, until he opened the very first Taco Bell. Bell had taken notice of a restaurant across the street that attracted long lines. The restaurant was called Meatla Cafe, and everyone was coming for their hard shell tacos. Over the next two years, Bell ate there many times and tried to figure out the recipe for the tacos. Eventually, he became friends with the owners, who showed him how they were made. By 1952, Glenn Bell had set up his own taco stand called Taco Tia. Through the next few years, Bell opened additional taco stands, including others called El Taco. But by 1962, at the age of 38, Bell had sold his restaurants in order to open a new restaurant with a franchise plan. In the city of Downey, California, just outside of LA, the very first Taco Bell opened its doors, and it was named after its founder. At the original Taco Bell, customers bought tacos, or as they pronounced it, tacos, for just 19 cents. The 400 square foot mission style building had no indoor seating, just a kitchen and an ordering window. It also had a fire pit and occasionally featured a mariachi band. The Downey location was a success, and eight other locations were opened over the next two years. In 1964, a retired LA police officer named Kermit Becky opened the first franchised Taco Bell in Torrance, California. From that point on, Franchises began to pop up all over the L.A. area, and by 1967, there were over 100 of them. By 1970, the chain had expanded west and had become a $6 million operation. This was also the year Taco Bell made its first public stock offering, with 325 restaurants and counting. In 1978, Glenn Bell sold 868 Taco Bell restaurants to PepsiCo. In return, Bell received $125 million in Pepsi stock. Pepsi got right to work, refreshing the logo, adding new menu items like the taco salad and the Taco Bell Grande, and marketing Taco Bell as a mainstream fast food restaurant. In 1989, Taco Bell ran a promotion with collector cups for the new Batman movie directed by Tim Burton. This promotion was a giant success and helped to put Taco Bell on the map. Starting in 1991, Taco Bell launched the 59, 79, 99 cent value promotions. The campaign was heavily promoted through television and radio advertising and put a lot of pressure on Taco Bell's hamburger competitors. That year, sales increased 60% and they were the top performing fast food restaurant in the nation. In 1997, Pepsi spun off all of their restaurants into a new company called Tricon Global. Now Taco Bell was partnered with A&W and Long John Silver's. Later, Tricon would become Yum Brands and Pizza Hut and KFC would be added to the portfolio. 
Also in 1997, Taco Bell launched a series of ads featuring a chihuahua who says, Yo quiero Taco Bell. The ad became a cultural phenomenon and inspired other taglines. But the ads didn't inspire people to actually buy more tacos. In 2000, Taco Bell pulled the campaign and settled a $42 million lawsuit regarding who came up with the idea. The Chihuahua would go on to star in Geico ads and also in the movie Legally Blonde 2. On January 16, 2010, Taco Bell founder Glenn Bell died at the age of 86 from Parkinson's disease. Prior to his death, Bell was able to watch his old company grow into a powerhouse chain that competes with the biggest chains in the country. From Chalupas to Crunchwrap Supremes, Taco Bell's menu has evolved through the years. In 2012, Taco Bell had their biggest food innovation with the introduction of the Doritos Locos Taco. Since its debut, over 500 million have been sold, and Taco Bell was quick to follow it up with the Doritos Cool Ranch Taco. The original location of Taco Bell, located in Downey, California, was vacant and scheduled to be demolished. The location, which ceased being a Taco Bell back in the 1980s, became a promotion with the Save Taco Bell campaign. The building was picked up and moved 35 miles south to the Taco Bell headquarters. From redesigns of their website to a new mobile ordering app, Taco Bell has invested millions into making it easier for customers to order and get their food. Their hot sauces have become so popular, they are available in grocery stores, and they even have their own line of clothing and merchandise, available at TacoBellTacoShop.com. The effectiveness of Taco Bell's advertising has made it resonate with young people, and they are fanatical about their love for the brand. If you have ever had a late night craving for some crunchy tacos and a Mountain Dew Baja Blast, you are not alone. More than 40 million customers are served at Taco Bell each week, with locations in every single state. If you were lucky enough to live in California during the early years of the chain, maybe you too remember calling them Tacos.